So the way we're teaching addition here is through manipulating these blocks and counting them and going through a process to see how it works. Rosie, let's read the first math question. Can you read that question for me? Two plus two equals four. Well, you know the answer already, but um, what's to answer it again, what's the first step? Two. Two. So what do you need to do? Get two. Two what? Two blocks. Good. And you put them where? On the side, right? And then what do you do? Get one or two blocks. Yeah, and put them over there. Then what do you do? Count all together. Yes. One, two, three, four. Good job. And so do you know what a four looks like? Do you remember? Yeah. If you didn't know what a four looks like, what would you do? And you need to go line up, right? See? Where's the four on the number line? Good job. Where's the four on the number line? Good. Okay. Blocks back, crayon down. Blocks back, crayon down. Next question. Actually, before we do it, let's read the full answer. Two plus two equals four. Good. High five. You're so good in math. Is there something wrong with your eye? No. A little bit itchy? Okay, let's read the next question. Yeah. Let's read the next question. Let's read the next question. One plus four. Okay. Equals what? Well, we gotta find out. What's the first step? Uh, what? Yeah, get one block. Okay. Okay, where do you put it? You put it on the left side, right? Okay, and then what do you do? Count. Uh, nope, you're not ready. There's something else. Get four. Yes. Miss four? Well, I don't know, count it. One, two, three. Oh, I need to add one more block. That's right. One more. Purple, of course. Okay. One, two, three, four. Good job. And where do you put it? On the side. And before you count, so the key thing about this is constantly getting them to count the block so they know what the quantities are. And they're doing all of this, of course, by hand, following the process. Okay, now finally, to get the answer, what do you need to do? Count. Count what? The blocks. All together? One, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. What's the answer? Five. Good job. Okay, let's put the blocks back. Pick up your crayon and write the answer. Five. Where do you write the answer, by the way? Where do you write the answer? Yes. And what's a five look like? I don't know. Here, let's turn this around so we can see. Let's do it with the number line. Yeah, let's use the number line. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five. So a five looks like that. Can you draw a five by yourself or do you need help? I need help. Okay, I'll help you. So we're going to do... Sort of like little line. Here, let's hold it. Let's hold the crayon like this. Yeah. Here, let's see. See how I hold it like that. Here, kind of like that. Well, that's close enough. And then, and then another line, and then little kind of circly thing. Now let's read the full answer. One plus both equals five. High five. Good job. So that, in a nutshell, is how we do math. We use the number line to find what the numbers look like. We also, uh, of course, use the blocks, um, putting the one quantity on the left and the other quantity on the right, and then we just keep counting them. And pretty soon they'll remember what the answers are without using the blocks, but their understanding and reasoning of addition is based not on symbols, but on actual physical quantities on reality. And this is how we're going to approach subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, squares, cubes, cube roots, and square roots. So, nice job, Rosie. Say goodbye. Goodbye.